61A Lecture Number 30, Announcements. Midterm 2 regrade requests are due Monday, Homework 7 is due Thursday, and we're about to release the Scheme Project. The Scheme Project is where you write a Scheme Interpreter in Python. Then you write some Scheme code to run on your very own interpreter. The goal of this project is for you to learn how interpreters work. How is it that programs turn into behavior by the computer? Well, here's the simplest sketch there is of how you could build an interpreter for a programming language. And it's the longest project in this course, so we'll have not one but two checkpoints. You have to finish the first few problems by next Tuesday, and then finish the whole interpreter by next Friday. The rest of the project is just to write some scheme code to make sure your interpreter really is working. And that's due Tuesday the 24th, but you'll get an early submission bonus point for completing it by Monday the 23rd. Unlike previous projects, there will be two versions that you can choose from, the normal version and the challenge version. Do the normal version. The normal version is structured much like previous projects. It's broken up into individual questions, and a lot of the framework or structure of the program is given to you. In the challenge version, it's up to you to figure out how to organize your program. The only test we'll run is to make sure that at the end of the day you've built a functioning scheme interpreter. But you don't have to break it down into the various functions that we came up with. You can do it any way you want. You don't get any extra points for doing the challenge version. It's just harder. But if that's what you're looking for at this point in the course, a chance to organize your own program instead of having us do it for you, well then try it out. You can always switch back to the normal version if you want, so I recommend that if you're going to do the challenge version, you do it early enough that you can always switch back to the normal version. Or you could take inspiration from the normal version and look at how we structured the program there. So it's completely up to you which version you do, but I would expect almost all students to do the normal version. This project is plenty large and challenging, even without the extra challenge of having to organize the program yourself. And don't worry, you'll get plenty of practice organizing large programs in 61B if you take that course, so it's not like you have to do it here to get the experience. Since this project is so large, today's lecture will just describe how to do the project. It won't tell you the exact code to type, but it will give you a description of what the different parts of the program are, how they fit together, so that you can keep oriented when you're working through the project. It's not really educational to work through this project just by trying to pass the test cases. It's better to understand how each piece that you build fits into the whole interpreter. And that's what this lecture is about. Wednesday, we don't have lecture at all because it's Veterans Day. So we'll have no lecture, no lecture Q&A, no staff office hours, no discussion, no tutorials, no orientation, nothing. Just take the day off. There is a discussion worksheet for this week, which will be covered in today's orientations, the lab orientations. But there won't be any tutorial questions on it. It's a little shorter and just gives you some guidance about quotation and evaluation that I think will be helpful. We've also revised the lecture topic schedule. We were going to have some optional lectures this Friday and next Monday, but we looked at the rest of the semester and realized that we wanted to make sure you had lab and discussion and tutorial time for all of the required topics in the course. So we've shuffled things a little bit. And on Friday, we will have our first lecture in a new unit in the course about declarative programming, where you're going to learn yet another programming language called SQL or SQL. So let's briefly review the schedule. Here we are today. No lecture Wednesday. Declarative programming will start Friday. In a normal semester, this would be four lectures, but we've made the fourth one optional. But lab and discussion next week will cover this content, and then we'll release a homework on it. This homework isn't actually due until after Thanksgiving, but since there's a lab next week, you do need to start getting oriented with this new lecture material, at least a little bit. And if you master it as it comes out, then you could take a break during Thanksgiving week, which I think would be great. This will be the last piece of new content in the course for the semester, next Wednesday. 
After that, we'll cover some optional topics, help make sure you're ready for the final exam, and conclude.